Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 1 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry. In my previous video, I have completed the Introduction to Trigonometry. So do watch that video for better understanding before solving this example 1. So let us begin with the video. Example 1 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry says, Given tan A equal to 4 by 3, find the other trigonometric ratios of angle A. So here they have given us the value of a trigonometric ratio that is tan A is equal to 4 by 3. We have to find the all the other trigonometric ratios for angle A. So first of all let us draw a triangle and name it as ABC. Now since they have given us the value of tan A, so angle A forms the acute angle at which we have to find out trigonometric ratios. So since ABC is a right angle triangle, side opposite B is hypotenuse and depending upon our acute angle, we will have the opposite side and the adjacent side. The side opposite to angle A is BC, so this becomes the perpendicular or the opposite side and AB becomes the base or the adjacent side. Now what have they given in the question? They have given us tan A equal to 4 by 3. Now similarly we have to find out the sin A, cos A, cot, secant and cosecant A values. Now what is tan A given by? In my previous video that is introduction to trigonometry, I have explained you a simplest way to remember the trigonometric ratios. Right? So the first three trigonometric ratios are defined by sin, cos and tan and you have to remember this ratio P b p divided by h h b the sine theta becomes the perpendicular by hypotenuse cos theta is base by hypotenuse and tan theta is perpendicular by base similarly you can find out the values of cosecant theta which is hypotenuse by perpendicular opposite of sine theta then secant theta and cot theta so this is the simplest way to remember the trigonometric ratios. Now what is tan theta given by? Tan theta is given by perpendicular by base. So here the perpendicular value is given as equal to 4 and the base value is also given that is 3. But we don't know the side AC that is the hypotenuse. So we have to find out first the value of the side AC or hypotenuse to find out the other trigonometric ratio. So here since it is a right angle triangle we are going to apply the Pythagoras theorem to find out the value of the hypotenuse. By Pythagoras theorem we have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus the perpendicular square. Right so hypotenuse square is equal to what is the base value it is 3 that is 3 square plus perpendicular value is 4 square. So hypotenuse square is equal to 3 square is 9 plus 4 4 is 16. So 9 plus 16 it is 25. So hypotenuse is equal to square root of 25 is nothing but 5. So the here again the hypotenuse value is 5. Now let us find all the other trigonometric ratios where sine of A is given by what? Perpendicular by hypotenuse which is 4 by 5 then cos A is base by hypotenuse so here the base value is 3 by 5 similarly we have cosecant A is equal to hypotenuse by perpendicular that is 5 by 4 then secant secant A is equal to hypotenuse by base that is 5 by 3 and the last one that is cot A is base by perpendicular. So base value is 3 by perpendicular is 4. So these are all the trigonometric ratios which we have found out given one of the trigonometric ratio. So we have found out all the trigonometric ratios of angle A. This is how we solve this example 1. If you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, let us solve example 2 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry. 
Till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 11 shown on the screen. Thank you.